Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 8 non conventional energy sources dealing with concentrating collectors. Come, let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. So, in the last video, we have seen about the different solar collectors. In that, we have come across concentrating and non concentrating types of collectors. So, concentrating about what is a concentrating collectors so here these are some solar collectors where the radiation is focused either to some focal point or along the line of the collector so since this radiation is focused either on the uh, either on the side of the collectors then it is said to be the concentrating collectors Generally, what happens is in focusing collector, the area of the observer is smaller than the area of the collector. That is what we have seen. But in non-concentrating collector, what happens? The area of the observer is equal to the area of the collector. So, here in concentrating collectors, the radiation is focused. That is, the intensity is greater than that of the non-focusing type. So, because of all these constraints, the concentrating collectors are always used at a higher level of temperature where it deals with generation of power or industrial uh, processes or agricultural processes. So, or where a high power is driven. So, they, there this concentrating collectors is being used. Now, let us move into the classification of concentrating collectors. Now, concentrating collectors is divided as focusing and non-focusing type collectors. So, now this focusing type is uh, divided into line and point focusing and non-focusing is mirror boosting and compound parabolic concentrator. So, this line and point facing will be further divided into different types of collectors like parabolic line, uh, line focusing is further divided as parabolic trough collector, mirror strip collector, cylindrical parabolic collectors. And when you are considering about the point, point focusing, there is pa uh, paraboidal, uh, central tower co uh, collector, all these collectors comes under point focusing. So in non-focusing, you have two, that is your mirror boosting and compound parabolic. Now, seeing one one example in each type, say that we are going to see this cylindrical parabolic concentrator which comes under focusing point. So, this cylindrical pa parabolic concentrator, here you can see it is having an absorber tube and there is a glass cover which is used to observe the solar radiation and you have a parabolic reflector because it is named as parabolic concentrator. So, it is having a cylindrical parabolic where the reflector and the tube, uh, I mean metal tube res receiver, they have a focal line. This is the focal line. Okay, so the receiver tube will be blackened at the outside. So, here you can see the tube is blackened at the outside. So, why it is blackened is to increase the absorption. This is rotated about the axis, axis of the sun, how the sun has been rotating, the same wise it is rotating. So, he see heat transfer fluid flows through the receiver tube and the thermal energy to the next stage of the system. So, this type of collectors, what it does is it starts orienting in any of the direction based on which axis it is focused on. So, now here you can say the concentration ratio will be ranging up to 5 to 30. Uh, because we are using cylindrical parabolic concentrator. Next, non-focusing type is paraboidal dish collector. So, here you can have a reflector, which is uh, you have a tracking device connected across the reflector. You have a fluid transfer pipe. This is the complete supporting structure for this paraboidal dish collector and you have a receiver at the top. Now, this when a parabola, it is rotated about its optimal axis like it is a paraboidal surface. Then there is a paraboidal surface that is formed when it is rotated across. So, here it is focusing only beam radiation. Okay, this for that it requires two axes for tracking. That is, it can have a ratio that is concentration. Here you have 5 to 
30 concentration ratio here the concentration ratio will range from 10 to some thousands so that the temperature that you are yielding because of this parabolic dish collector will be 3000 degrees celsius so uh, so with a small piece of paraboidal dish collector it it ensures that you you are getting you are yielding more high amount of temperature or high amount of uh, concentration ratio next moving into compound parabolic concentrator now here what happens is you can see there is a compound mirror that is attached to the flat surface so consider this as a flat surface and you have a mirror and these are the segments where it is oriented so you can uh, see axis of one parabola parabola b parabola c and this is the axis this is the acceptance angle so axis of each parabola so these segments are oriented such that the focus of one will be located at the bottom end point of the other it, so that it will have a large acceptance angle where this acceptance angle can be adjusted so the rays in the central region of this aperture will reach the observer plate directly so there is no um, uh, there is no tilting of the mirror it is directly going to hit the surface so because of that the concentration concentration ratio achieved because of compound parabolic concentrator is around 3 to 7 so hope you have understood all these kinds of concentrator uh, concentrator uh, collectors that is available there are more concentrator i have just given you uh, some examples of the concentrate uh, collectors available thank you stay tuned for more information